What's good guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, sorry that it's been like a week and a bit from the last one. I'm on holiday, so, you know, I kind of want to not release all my videos in one day. I mean, I've started making another one, but I just haven't been playing this game too much because, I mean, I was at my cousin's house for a bit and, you know, shit like that. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here playing from the depths all day. But yeah, I mean, I'm here now. This, I built this probably... I mean, I built it before the uh, American gunboat in my last video. But I just didn't want to release it because it's quite long. And, you know, I kind of wanted to make sure that I actually uh, do, like, a decent voiceover. I wanted to wait until I'm not as ill as I was earlier because before I could barely speak. But yeah, this is uh, probably one of the better things I've built. Now, as you can see, I started by actually building the guns because I had this idea. Now, this and the EMP frigate, destroyer even, that I built a while ago, they're kind of both going to be in like a uh, faction type thing, I guess, just like a fleet. Because I'm going to make them both like a similar like colour style and just aesthetic. Because they're based around like a similar theme with like the names and the colour schemes and stuff. Obviously I haven't painted either of them but I will at some point. But yeah, uh, they're both kind of inspired by like similar things. So this one I decided to make like a turret that shoots like three different colour shells. Being uh, black, red and white. Now, it's pretty... Is pretty shit, let's be honest. Uh, I think it's 200mm or 150, something like that. I can't exactly remember. But yeah, the, the, the turret wasn't great. It uses belt fed auto loaders and it doesn't fire too fast. I mean, I think it fires like 120 rounds per minute for like two minutes before it gives up. But it ended up being decent. I think I used uh, armor penetration heavy explosive shells shells I can't remember if I use an inertial fuse though I either replace the inertial fuse with the visible tracer or just use both but either way the shells aren't too great because you know I spent one of the slots on a tracer which just is a waste of space in almost every way but yeah I mean I'm quite happy with these turrets I managed to do like a decent ish turret cap yeah, overall, for the build, I used two of them, which, I mean, as you can see here, they fire decently. So two of them is significant firepower, but it only lasts for about two minutes. But, obviously, this ship is like a frontside airship, so my main goal for this was to just uh, build something that can take down every Deepwater Guard ship, which I didn't do because uh, I somehow messed up the AI, so it floats, flies even, r like relatively low, which means that when it's firing at an airship, it kind of can't, because like, these turrets can only aim forward and downwards, which is a massive design oversight, because, I mean, it wasn't at the start, because I managed to get this thing flying at about 200 meters, but then I messed something up, so now it doesn't go above 50. So, if anyone knows what might have caused that, please let me know. I wasn't able to find a problem. Yeah, um, time on the screen if you want to see the finished thing. Obviously the rest of this is just time lapse, like all my videos. So yeah, um, hope you enjoy it, I guess. And if anyone wants to download any of my craft, then uh, let me know somewhere and I'll upload them to the Steam Workshop if I figure out how I know I said I'd do it earlier but no one really cared so there was no point was there I don't feel like doing it but yeah if you want to see any of my craft just let me know and I'll upload it and I'll probably have another video in like a week of I haven't really decided yet I've started building something but it's not going great, so I'll probably do something else. But for now, I'll just 
I don't know, enjoy this, I guess. Enjoy as I uh, struggle to figure out how to uh, build an airship, even though I've done it before. So yeah, again, timestamp on the screen and see you at the end of the video.
Right, well this is the finished uh, thing. Now I'm fighting it against the uh, crossbones. Mainly just because I've fought against the crossbones before and I know it, I know it can beat it. Now as you can see this uh, this front side of airship is like decently big I guess. It's not too big, it costs I think just less than 300,000 materials. Yeah, 276. Now, it does have a lot of weapons on it well somewhat a lot has these two uh, turrets which are quite rapid fire they are 200 millimeter shells and then it has these two uh, 500 millimeter cannons a cram cannon on top obviously the cram cannon is pretty useless since this thing is 2000 meters away so it doesn't do too much uh, damage at any point really and then it has some small anti-air missiles on the sides on this little uh, balcony thing as you can see they're just firing there and then it has some bigger missiles on the front as well as some uh, anti-air cannons in case there's like planes but I mean it's like a long distance front sider so it barely ever uses them and of course it has some large jet engines over here which are definitely a massive design flaw they use up a lot of fuel which isn't good this whole thing is uh, extremely inefficient it's probably not the best design I mean, I'm still happy with it for some reason. It's probably like one of the only things I've built that I'm actually happy with. But in something like the campaign, it's pretty much useless because it uses like 10 materials a second. Because for some reason, I have jet engines with generators as well as uh, fuel engines. Because I just didn't think, uh, well, I didn't plan ahead while building it, so I just kind of just added stuff just whenever I felt like it. But the firepower is something I'm happy with, as you can see it's kind of destroying the crossbones here and the smaller cannons right now they're firing red and white shells but there should be some black shells in there as well I used it because uh, it has auto loaders that have like are divisible by three yeah I think that makes sense I think it has like 15 for each turret or something so I just used it with three different colors because I thought that would be a fun idea it's, de it's definitely stupid because it just wastes a slot on the shell for no real reason but oh well I like the way it looks so yeah as you can see it doesn't it doesn't really fire that much obviously the cannons have to reload now because I use belt feeders to get a larger rate of fire now the larger cannons in the middle they just use normal normal shells and not belt feeders so they're better in that regard I guess because they can fire continuously but the real damage dealers on this thing are the uh, missiles which do do most of the damage the cannons I feel aren't too great I think the larger ones use just hollow point high explosive and the smaller ones use armor piercing high explosive so you know if the enemy has shields they're pretty much pathetic but the missiles are pretty decent obviously the anti-air ones don't do too much damage because they are anti-air they are on a separate AI but 
obviously when only fighting one craft you don't really get to see that now this is obviously gonna win the fight I don't think it's even taken any proper hits because obviously it's flying it isn't very it isn't very stable I mean it is somewhat stable but I think I messed up the AI because I was using ship AI but then I changed to hover AI which even though I have combat altitude set at 200 meters it hovers at around 50 so I don't know how to fix that and I don't really want to use ship AI because then it can't strafe or it can I don't know it doesn't I'm just not not good at this sh stuff yeah um, I don't know as you can see it's just not really uh, not really anything special it looks horrific I mean this this front thing I don't know why I made it like a semicircle but apart from that the semicircle I kind of like it now I don't really know what uh, scenario it fits but I've added it to the same uh, fleet as the destroyer that I built a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago I don't know when this is being made in this video but the I think it was frag and the MP destroyer and this thing and my next video which will probably be like either a cruiser that I've halfway built or something else I'm not quite sure they're all going in the same fleet because they have like a similar theme similar kind of uh, aesthetic and they will have a similar color scheme once I get around to painting this obviously the uh, red white and black and all their names kind of fit a theme sort of not really sure not really sure what to do yet yeah these craft will probably be confined to the uh, designer mode obviously the destroyer I built I'm quite happy with but this thing is just unusable because it uses so much materials now I could probably redesign it to make it a lot more efficient I could probably remove the engine or just replace the custom jets with normal jets since I find that custom jets don't really add that much more power but I don't know I don't really feel like uh, removing everything inside it I feel like there would be a lot of empty space if I optimize it but right now I like the way it is so I'm just gonna keep it and yeah as you can see the crossbones is uh, almost dead at this point blocks are being uh, just destroyed I mean it is made of cardboard so what can you really expect any weapon can destroy cardboard easily so yeah I mean I hope you enjoyed this video I'm probably gonna end it here it looks like it's gonna go uh, too damaged quite soon I mean it, it never really stood a chance it doesn't even broadside because it's too far away so I don't know I don't even want to use this craft in the campaign it seems a bit unfair obviously against a proper enemy that isn't the Deepwater Guard it will get absolutely destroyed I think I tested it against the uh, the big the big ship from the Steel Striders I can't remember what the name was, one of the big ones, and it just got wrecked, so... I don't know, I might try building something that can actually fight another faction for once, but... Right now, I'm just having fun building these random rapid-fire craft, so... I'm just gonna leave it at that, as this thing, uh... slowly evaporates into nothing.